welcome back to CJ Studio. Today we're going to make a pencil sharpener box because sometimes your pencils get a bit messy and sometimes it might be even worse when it's like all over the place. So we're going to make a really handy sharpener that won't spill over the place and you can sharpen it without making a mess. So today our goal is going to be we're going to make a customised pencil sharpener box. So firstly we're going to create a main sharpener box body Then we're going to create a lid with a pencil nest for the body Then create a sharpener holder and we're going to put it into the main body Finally we're going to print it out and then we're going to test it First we're going to create a main sharpener body box body So let's go into Tinkercad and we're going to call our sharpener box and first we're going to get the box to start for the main body we're just going to make it into 80 for the length width and finally we're also going to do it for the height Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a hollowed out box for the inside. We're going to make it so that it's 76 length and 76 white width so that it can fit inside the red box. Now we're going to make this 90 so that it can cover the whole red box. Hold shift to select both objects. We're going to use a special tool called a line which aligns both of them together. So we're going to press that black dot. It shows you where it goes. When it's grey, it means it's aligned. Now we're just going to move this a little bit upper so there's a thickness for the bottom. After that, we're going to go to move on to step two. Create a lid with pencil nest for the body. Now we're going to get another box. This time it's going to be for the lid of the sharpener. We're going to change this into 80, so that both 80, so that it can fit over the box. We're going to change this one into 8, we don't want it to be too thick. What we're going to do now is we're going to get a cylinder. This is going to be so that we can put some pencils on top of the lid. This is going to be 8. I'm going to change it to 90 so that's a bit taller. This is about the size of what you can put a pencil. We're going to make it parallel to the lid. We're going to put it there and now we're going to make it in, we're going to align it them together. Since we want to align the orange one, we're just going to click on the red. It's going to put into the middle. Now you can see that it's in the middle. We're going to put it just to the bottom. Now what we're going to do is just put a little upper so that it can make a hole in. It. and we're going to change the colour into green so that stands out and then we're going to make it into a hole then we're going to duplicate it by doing control C and then control V we're going to use 
the align again with holding shift align it so that it gets to the very edge then because we don't want it for the pencils to fall out because it's at the very edge we're just gonna move it in a little and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste it again because we already copied it this time we're gonna align it so that it's on the other side And now, because we don't want the pencil again to fall down, we're going to put it in again as well. Now we're going to do it again for the next 90 degrees, so that's easier to put it either way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to group them all together. I'm going to press the group button. And then now you can see they made holes. We're going to turn it around so that it's 180. We're going to get another box, this time we're going to make it 75.5 so it can still fit inside the big hollow box. 75.5 and then we're going to make this one 10 so it isn't that fat. Now we're going to align them together so that it's in the middle but what we're going to do you can see it's covering the hole so we're going to lift it up so it won't cover where you're supposed to put the pencils. We're just gonna, now we're going to make it a bit more thinner. We're going to put the radius so that it's easier to put inside the box. So now we're going to put on my initials. So we're going to get a text box. So what we're going to do first is we're going to spin this 90 degrees. And then we're going to turn it 90 degrees. Then I'm going to put in my initials, which is C, J. Gonna lift it up and then we're gonna change the color to yellow so that it stands out and you can see. Let's make it a bit longer. We have to turn it a little because it's really important otherwise it can't print it doesn't have any structure to stable it. I'm gonna put it a little inner and now you can see it has my initials on it 
on a little angle. Now we're going to create a sharpener holder and we're going to put it into the main body. So once we've hit all of those things, what we're going to do is I'm going to get a red box out and I'm going to change my size to 23.50. Your one might be different depending on what your sharpener looks like. This one is to fit my sharpener and we're gonna, I'm going to change that to 40.50. I'm going to get another hollowed out box because my sharpener fits 19.50. That's what I'm going to change it into. And we're just going to make sure the height is a little lower. Now because my sharpener is a bit curved on some sides, um, I'm going to get a round roof. We're now going to align them together. Now what we're going to do is just going to hide that hollow square and we're going to lift this round roof a little. And now we're going to show it everything. So what I'm going to do is make sure the round roof is a hollow one and we're going to group them together. Then we're going to align something, we're going to align again. And then we're going to lift it up 2 millimeters so that it matches with the big sharpen. Now you can practice your skills of aligning things. Now export it to file STL for 3D print and finally we can move up to step 4 print it and we're going to test it out you can see now it's nearly done so now I can test it we've only done it half size otherwise it will be too big so this is the sharpener box you can see it has my initials, a smiley face and some dots for easy gripping and I've already sharpened some pencils in it. 
Now we can try sharpen this pencil. And when I take it out, it isn't fully sharpened yet, so I'm going to keep sharpening a little. It's a little blunt, so we're going to keep sharpening until it's a bit sharper. You see, it's sharp now. These are the other two pencils I sharpened. So you can put them both ways as well. They fit perfectly. Thank you very much for your watching and I hope you enjoy it. If it helps, please subscribe, like and turn on notifications so you won't miss any episodes. And also you can share with others. See you next time.